Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Harry Potter book review. So today we're going to be looking at the Spellbinding Guide to Hogwarts Houses book. Only reason why I got this is due to the exclusive minifigure of Percy Weasley for the very first time in LEGO form. Really amazing to finally get him. You get some exclusive prints and even a brand new recolor for his hairpiece. We'll take a closer look at him in a few minutes. But anyways, this book released back on September 13th of 2022 and retails for $19.99. So technically a $5 regular CMF price and $15 just for the rest of the book contents. So to start us off, we might as well take a look at the cover of the book where you have your logos from the top, name of the book, and also showcases our exclusive minifigure of Percy Weasley front and center. Now you may notice that there aren't any bobbles or anything like we've seen on past books for the Lego Harry Potter theme and many other Lego themes for that matter. Now, when you actually open this up, you'll notice that we have this area. That holds our exclusive minifigure of Percy Weasley right under this flap, which has a sticker with Percy's face, just to, again, show that this is Percy Weasley underneath this flap. So we're gonna just peel this off very nice and easily, and we can peel this up to reveal our minifigure who is loose inside. And this also avoids them using plastic for the packaging, which I do appreciate, again, for the environment. Lego's gonna try and include paper bags in future, which will also hopefully help. I also like, unlike other books that we've gotten in the past, our minifigure actually came disassembled. So let's build him up, and we'll take a closer look at him right now. So here he is, for the very first time ever in LEGO form, we have Percy Weasley, who I think turned out really amazing. You get some exclusive prints for both the torso and even the headpiece there. One thing that I just have to point out right off the bat when it comes to the torso is one of my favorite inclusions for this figure, that being the little Prefect badge, which you can see right above the little Gryffindor logo. That is absolutely amazing. I love that they decided to include that on this figure. We have that regular sort of Gryffindor color scheme for the tie and the black all around for the cloak. Taking a look at the back printing, you get the little hoodie from the back, which should be a similar print as you see for many other characters in this theme. When it comes to the legs, that is the only piece other than the wand color that is not exclusive to this figure. Those legs have come on a number of other characters from Harry Potter and Marvel sets, but regardless, fits very well to complete this figure. Now, looking at the double-sided facial expression, we have one with a raised eyebrow and an open mouth grin, and then one that I think much better fits Percy Weasley here, where he looks a lot more serious and stern on the other side. I love that face. And also the hairpiece I think works very well for Percy. Overall, a very well done minifigure. Happy to finally have him in my collection. Now that brings us to the portion of this video where we're gonna take a look at the entirety of the book content. Hopefully the audio for this section isn't too bad, but at least this will give you a sense as to what we actually have inside here. Now from the opening cover, as we just saw, we have our minifigure of Percy Weasley nicely hidden. I actually really like that they're doing this now, so then people who typically stole the minifigures in the past when you can actually see them from the clear bobble from the front of the book won't be able to do that now that they're actually hiding them and only true LEGO fans probably will actually know that they are hidden within that particular spot. Now from the next page, we have our title of the book, A Spellbinding Guide to Hogwarts Houses, written by Julia March, who I think has done a few other Harry Potter books in the past for DK. We have our table of contents. And we have our introduction, which also features this very nice still from the Hogwarts Magical Trunk set that we saw back in March, which shows that we have some more recent sets, at least as of March, included within this book. We have the four founders from the Microscale Hogwarts Direct-to-Consumer. 
And we have some stills from the 2018 Great Hall. It's kind of weird seeing all of these older sets mixing with the newer ones. Gryffindor House. We have a piece from 2018 Great Hall. Sort of Gryffindor. Not sure why they're not using the new mold that they made. That would make a lot more sense. We have the art set, which is interesting to see, and the 2018 design for Nearly Headless Nick, which is weird. Professor McGonagall. Looks like they're using a lot of just JPEG clear background PNG images in this book. Harry Potter. Hermione Granger. Ron Weasley. This showcases the wizard chess set. Back to the common room where they're showing off the Hogwarts Magical Trunk set where we have some of our Series 1 collectible minifigures hiding in there. That's interesting. Would have liked to have seen them actually show the common room set that we got as a promo in here, though maybe they don't want to show that. Percy Weasley, of course, we gotta have a nice uh, page dedicated to our exclusive minifigure in here. Gryffindor Prefects badge, noted, really love that. Neat and tidy robes, keep up please, I love that. Very nicely done. The uh, Ginny Weasley from the Chamber of Secrets set last year with that facial expression I don't like. We have the first Flying Lessons set, which I recommend getting. That should be retiring very, very soon. If you don't already have this one, it's a really nice set to add to your Hogwarts lineup. You have the Remember All there, which is really cool. We have the Transfiguration Hogwarts Moment set, which these Hogwarts Moment sets are actually going to all be retiring by the end of the year, making room for the new Banner Wave that'll be releasing which will be in a similar style, I suppose, but no longer classrooms. We have some pieces of the Great Hall, again mixing some of the 2018 sets with the newer Magical Trunk design. We're on to Hufflepuff, where we have Susan Bones, even though we should see Cedric Diggory advertised here. We also have the art set and also the other side of the banner that you'll see in the 2018 Great Hall, Hufflepuff Cup being represented by a regular Lego cup piece, which is really hilarious and kind of silly. Hopefully they don't actually do that in the future, though hopefully we actually see some more Hallcruxes like the Diadem next year. Professor Sprout, we have another Hogwarts Moments set. There we go, we have Cedric Diggory with the mid-sized legs, which is really weird, and also I really love getting that in that set. Cedric Diggory, there he is. We have the Triwizard Cup that came with the CMF variant. 2019 version of the Horntail up there. Back to the Horntail, we have the Triwizard Tournament. Would have been interesting to see them show off the new one that they released as of this year, but I guess they weren't allowed to show that. Herbology class, yet again, showing off the Hogwarts moment set. And now we're on to Ravenclaw, where they decide not to show Cho Chang, they just show Rowena Ravenclaw again here. And we have that one accessory that comes in the accessory pack. We have the art set again in the 2018 banner. Professor Flitwick, this is the one from the Hogwarts Moment set, representing year one through two. Like getting that, even though I believe that print might even not be coming in sets anymore, which is really surprising this was the last set that we actually got it in. I believe. Luna Lovegood, we have the 2020 Room of Requirement, which I'll be doing a new review on sometime before the next version of the Room of Requirement releases. Definitely one of my favorite sets from 2020. Great figure selection, really well done. Next we have Professor Trelawney. This is the collectible minifigure version that's covering up the Hogwarts Moment set that we got back in March. Professor Lockhart, which this is the one from Diagon Alley, I believe, just because we get the cape with his minifigure. Love seeing the pixies in the background, even though this is not actually his office, as we see some other stuff from the Defense Against the Dark Arts class that we see from Moody, which is really interesting that they placed him like that. Quidditch match, the 2018 set, I think we're overdue for another one of these sometime next summer. I would hope to see a new Quidditch match set. 
Slytherin house. Again, we don't see Draco Malfoy, which he might even have his own page dedicated to him. Basilisk, they show the 2018 one. I don't know why they do that. Art set, and again, the 2018 uh, banner. Professor Snape, we have the Hogwarts moment set there. Draco Malfoy, this is the one that comes inside the first flying lesson set. Horus Slughorn, this is the one from the Bricktober pack because we get the printing there, which is really interesting to see that placed in the Astronomy Tower set, which didn't come with the hairpiece with that print. Potions Classroom, this is again showing the Hogwarts moment set with Snape, but we have Slughorn in here and we also have Draco, which is really interesting to see how they set that up, and also that book having the two different potion books there is also really interesting. Bellatrix Lestrange, of course, we're gonna have some of our villains here because they're in Slytherin. This is the one from the Burrow set with you no know, print there and the reused facial expression that I don't like. Then work right back. Back to Defense Against the Dark Arts class, we have the Hogwarts moment, again, just with all our characters that actually come in that set. Love that reference there. We have the Hospital Wing from March. I guess they did a photo dump of all of the sets that released in March. Really love this set. Another one that I think is really great within the current Hogwarts lineup. House and Home. We have some little holiday stuff from the Advent Calendar, I believe. This is our three minifigures from Diagon Alley. The Mirror of Eris set from the 2018 set. This is another set that I think was really amazing. Harry Potter has a lot of really great $20 sets and that brings us to the end of the book where we have a nice little shot of the 2018 Hogwarts Castle and this very nice pattern that we also saw from the front with our Percy Weasley minifigure and the back of the book where we have a few of our students again just a lot of these JPEGs or PNG images used here nothing really too unique mostly stuff from the 2018 through March 2022 lineup. Nothing from the summer this year. Nothing from before 2018. I hope you enjoyed my flip through and this gave you a sense as to if you actually wanted this in your collection or not. Again, really the main reason why I see anyone getting this is for the minifigure. That's really the only reason why people should be getting or will be getting these books. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this book. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't forget to upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!